edible. Like kumquats, for example. You can eat those whole. I love kumquats. To show my respect to you for getting serious and not holding back. I will Don't do just subscribe. Courtesy of the sea. Onion gifted tier one sub to Leo. Thank you so much, Onion. I appreciate that. To celebrate, Onion, I bought some onions. Let's see here. She also makes slice of orange jam. This way. Leo, bring me some. I want to try it. Tastes so good. Every time I come over here, I'm gonna eat some of these grapes. I need chat to tell me not to. Don't do it, Bonzo. Don't eat the grapes. Don't eat all of them. Those are cooking. We got a lot of resubs today. You guys are really sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Just peel are not for eating. You dry them and put them in poultices. Poultices or potions, bath mixes, incense. So I caught I saw this cool video of some guy on Instagram. He's like, he, he he always like screams in his videos. It's really funny. He's like, he's like, do you use lemons? Stop throwing out the peel. Instead, and then he'll put them in like he'll put all of the lemon peels inside of like a little uh, spray bottle. You put in vinegar and then water, shake it up, and you have like homemade disinfectant spray. Like lemony disinfectant spray. I do kind of want to try that one day. What do you guys think? So these are my favorite cucumbers. I know they probably just look like regular English cucumbers, but they're not. They're from like the same type of cucumber or genus, whatever, if you want to get that te technical. But I only find these at the Middle Eastern store. They're so good. So, so good. Wash these. So we're probably gonna end up making some tzatziki sauce a little bit later this week. Maybe today, I don't know. Eat the grapes. It's like orange skin cooked with sugar. No, we love you, Bond. I just need a reminder, okay? I like the validation. And those cucumbers, they don't have that freaking wax on them that most cucumbers have. They're all natural. All natural. They're not that expensive. To show my respect to you for getting serious. Oh, thank you so much, Abby. I will do you the courtesy. That went to one of our sweetest community members, Mari Boo Bear. Here's your reminder. That's. I don't need you to do that for reminders, but thank you so much. I appreciate it. Look at that, Mari. You can now use my very average handmade emotes that I have. And no commercials. with their produce like you guys have seen me this is the second time I've done something like this on stream but like when you buy guys buy when you guys buy groceries do you do you uh you know pre-wash everything you just like wash it when you need it oh oh my god onion thank you so much again for the other gifted sub you guys are so sweet and that went to me, myself, and Myers. Oh my gosh. He's gonna be so happy. Oh. That was a noise I didn't expect. Onion being super sugar daddy. Onion is a sweet onion. Sugar onion. That's really sweet. Thank you so much, you guys. We got a hype train going. Oh my god. A whole hype train just to watch just to watch me wash some produce? Guys, 
can't believe it. I'm out of space on this towel. I really want to eat one of these cucumbers right now. I wish I bought more. Nah, this is more. I'm just hungry, that's all. Found a nice little pair of grapes here. <laughs> Did that sound how it was supposed to s Is that what it sounded like? That's not what it was supposed to sound like. If, uh, yes, we went to we went to Lebanon today, the Lebanese grocery store. We got a bunch of produce. We got badunes. We got the basal, pas, nana, more badunes. However you say dill, mabar, kifiul dill in Arabic. If anybody knows, say it in chat. Um, anyway, so we gotta wash. Okay, this is, this is my least favorite part. This part sucks. Is doing the green. It's always ex it's extra work. Extra work. That we don't wanna do. Me? Sweet? Oh. Do you need a reminder? I'll remind you. Okay, yeah, well, let's do the parsley first. That's done. That's good. I'm good. Hope you're doing well too. Yes, I'm doing very good today. I'm very happy. I, I finally went to the grocery store. I'm gonna be eating very good and clean and healthy for the rest of this week and for the rest of this year. Well, not really, but we aspire to be perfect all the time. Well, not perfect. Actually, no, no, no. I take that back. Nobody should ever strive for perfection. That's a bold-faced lie. But just being the best version of ourselves. That's all. That's all you need. Oh gosh! Who do we bond, Leo? You want to taste first to confirm? Are you, did you just knock Onion out with that bonk? You're gonna taste him? Damn, Leo. Didn't expect that. A stretch. Stretch. Ah, it's like the upper back lately. Usually it's my lower back, but... My upper back? I think it's because I've been doing a lot of push-ups lately. Believe it or not. Yes, I do exercise on occasion. Even though I don't like it that much. They ever come up with a clever way to synthesize muscle tissue without having to exercise? I mean, uh... Like real muscle tissue, not implant. Those are nasty. You turn people on, then bonk them down? That is pretty specific. You you should be around specific people. <laughs> okay, I'll lump. The parsley, I have to wash over the sink like a couple times, you guys. 
I'm sorry I'll have my back towards you for a little bit. But parsley is usually pretty dirty, or it can be pretty dirty, so you gotta wash it really good. Bunch of this up. Is that clover? No, parsley. This is parsley. The kind of herb. Hierba. Patunas, perejil. Uh, Prezze molo, prete molo in Italian. Good stuff. We're gonna get that going. We're gonna need this guy here. I love this thing. You guys don't have one of these, get one of these. Seriously. Get one of these, make sure it's the kind that, that, you know, there's nothing in the middle. Sometimes you find these things and there's like a, like a stem in the middle. No, get one that's completely, completely empty. And it makes washing and drying this stuff so much easier. Seriously. Especially when you have a bunch of like leafy greens. Also, make sure your water is cold when you wash stuff like this, okay guys? I think I want to change my, my stream title. I update my stream title to like Middle Eastern, to like Lebanese Grocery Hall. Is that possible? Can we make that a thing? Can we make that a reality? Let's see. Mods should be able. Yeah, I know, Abby. I'm just, I can do it though. Okay, I want, I need you guys to tell me. When I start spinning this stuff, I want you to tell me how loud it is in the microphone. Or if the microphone even picks it up at all, I want you to tell me if it's annoying or irritating. Seriously, and be honest. Please be honest. Because I'm, I'm gonna probably have to mute in between like cycles of these. It's obnoxious. I'll send you my resume. I'm gonna need resumes. Uh, you have to submit a five page single space essay. What's a 
dry this really good. So we'll do just a little bit at a time. We want there to be some surface area in there. Okay, I can tell my microphone is picking up that noise. Not too loud. Are you sure? Because I have to do this. I have to do this with like everything. Everything. You think you can still hear me? Well, your suffering is my pleasure. One more time. I want these to dry out. Dr not dry out, but just dry very well. I could also um, I could also turn down my microphone for this part. Anyways, yeah, I think this is this right here, guys, is the key. I mean, some people would consider this dry already and then just store it, but again, I like to put this out on my towel back there and let it kind of air dry, spread it out really good a little bit further, but eating, um, I, I think, I think this is one of like the biggest, uh, I don't know, like the, the biggest like key to my personal health, guys. This is going to sound ridiculous. I know I'm just talking about a stupid plant, but eating parsley regularly and uh, my salad when I make tabbouleh, putting it a little bit of chopped parsley on my sandwiches. We put a little bit of fresh uh, chopped parsley on our rice and the Lebanese rice, but read about this herb guys, parsley. It is so, so good for you. Really high in calcium too. Okay, let's spread this out. I ran out of room on the south. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, we're definitely not gonna have enough room for the rest of this. I'm gonna have to run upstairs and grab another towel. You're more of a cilantro person? Perfect. Cilantro works too. Honestly. You can totally use cilantro or eat cilantro. If you can eat it like regularly. I mean, I literally eat this stuff every day. I make tea out of it. I will sometimes just have it on the side and eat it. Like, just literally just take like a bite of a bunch of it like this. So that's pretty common, I think, in the UK and in Australia, and even like the parts of India where they will speak English. Or like if you ever hear like an Indian person reference uh, cilantro, they say coriander. Cilantro is the flower and coriander is the seed. I, I think you're right, Abby, because like coriander powder or coriander seeds, I think I bought coriander seeds one time, but maybe you can call them cilantro seeds. Do yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's get this on the top. Okay. Let's uh, 
Let me, let me do some organization real quick. Please, please stand by. Imagine if I had my own like little commercial. I should do that. Like a commercial type of thing. I think that would be cool. Tomatoes lined up. Lined up to perfection. Space on this towel, so I think it'll be easier. But I swear, I'm not eating any more of the grapes. I swear, I didn't eat any more grapes. Oh my god, it's Jigga. What's going on, Jigga? Look who's in here cooking again. Yes. Eat the grapes, they're so good. I love the grapes. Um, you're a grape. You're a towel. You ever watch South Park? Holly calling someone a towel. No. Um, okay. What do you do next? You do the lettuce, lettuce or kale? You've decided on lunch, finally. That's a pretty big achievement, Abby. What are we having for lunch today? Oh, and also a poke bowl for later. That sounds amazing. Uh, or sorry, pho. Pronounce it wrong, it's pho. Pho, fuck you. You're a platypus? How about that, a platypus? You know what, you're a dodo. You're a dodo bird. Those birds went extinct because they're stupid. How does that make you? You're you're an extinct bird. But but uh. <laughs> so fucking excited. A platypus? He has a platypus. Not a fan of pho? I love it. The broth. Have you ever read about how they make the broth for pho? It's uh, it's like bone broth, pretty much, and it's so it is so good, so good. Okay, Bella, next thing. We're gonna be here forever if I don't hurry up. We got our bowl ready for action. Action. Axios. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Harry the platypus? So you don't like that type of noodle. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Okay, uh, let's... You guys, wanna know how much I love parsley? So much, I buy two different kinds. This is, we did curled parsley, and this is flat leaf parsley, like my own. Um, okay, okay. Dodos are so dumb. <laughs> I mean, they ought to be. You know what else is dumb? They're pandas. They're adorable, but they're dumb. They're going extinct because they're stupid. I don't know if that's entirely true, okay? Flat like your ass? I did. I did see a putty cat. I did say it. I said it. I've done said it. Your ass isn't flat. Lies! Because I watch you walk to the fridge plenty and it ain't flat. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. All I do is just thirst for compliments. No, but um, I have been losing, trying to lose weight a little bit. And I've been like trying to like exercise my legs a lot because I've been noticing, me personally, 
um, you know, it's it's kind of it's kind of like going away. It's like disappearing, you know. Like the more weight I lose, so trying to keep it nice and plump, festively plump. Okay, parsley, flatly parsley. <laughs> Bonk them, get them, Leo. Get them all. Personal trainers are the best. Yeah, but I don't know. I can handle that. It's like I pay you to like exercise me, but like I'd rather be paying you to do something else. Now I'm really hungry. Don't make me use my points that I'm trying to save up. Lil did it for you. Hit bridges, jockey kicks, and squats. So I do squats, I do deadlifts, I do the hip um, um, yeah, abduction, abduction, I forget how to call it. Um, what I want to do more, like kickbacks. We like do like a lot of those, but like weighted kickbacks. Your trainer works remotely, even better. What a solid job. Maddie Everest for Dean Guzzle Water. You got it, Maddie. Um, I don't have any water, but I'm gonna drink the rest of this coffee. I hope you don't mind. Also, oh, hello, Maddie. How are you doing? Maddie Everest. That name's familiar. Are you a streamer? Why is that familiar? I'll be right back. It's overflowing. So much greenery. Not about some of this water. We lost. We lost some parsley in that water drain. Oh my gosh! I can't have too much coffee. I'm a little hungry now. Isn't that dweeb Raj workout? Ask him for tips. I don't want to ask Raj for tips. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Get ankle weights? Oh my god, like, uh, oh my gosh, like, uh, oh my god. Rock Lee from, from Naruto. Remember those shin weights that he would wear? Remember that fight with Gara where he's literally unconscious? Good times, good times. You're such a naughty boy. I heard that. You heard nothing. It's all in your head. Not bad things. I'm new to streaming. I've not played for ages due to family issues. Understand. But that's cool. What do you stream? Have you have you have you streamed yet or what are we what are we looking at? What are we working with here? You said you haven't played. Okay. I misinterpreted that. What do you like to play? If you have them and they're worth it. I'll try to try those. Ankle weights with the kickbacks. Those would be really, those would be really good. I also have uh, um, uh, weighted, what are those things called? Those bands, like those rubber, big rubber bands that you can put around your legs and do exercises with. Uh, weight bands? What are those called? Word, there's no way to call. Not yet, but will be soon. Wonderful, Maddie. Wonderful. Good to hear. You visit. You visit again once you start streaming. Resistance man. Yes, thank you. Again, sorry for how annoying this is. It's a very necessary step in this also long process. We're almost two hours into. It was, uh, it was the resistance band, this mama chaos. So, this 
parsley. You know what I might make? Since I have everything, I might make some good vegetarian green. Um, this parsley is really good for tea. It does go well in tabbouleh. Um, but I'll usually use this flat leaf parsley for like sandwiches. It was really, really good. It looks super wet. Let me spin these one more time. I've been hanging out with the straight guys in fitness and health. And they told me how to build glutes. Um, the fun, one thing, I think in the future I might do some fitness kind, kind of streams. Big, big maybe on that because I am certainly no expert and I'm still, um, how you say, like a novice uh, when it comes to exercise. But let's, let's give us a tip, uh, Jigo. What's, what's something they've told you? Share, share the information. And killer build and working on it. Love your thoughts. And they sound, wait, if they sound completely unbearable. Yeah, go ahead, Eddie. What you got? What are you buying? What are you selling? This looks like shit. Be right back. We got so much parsley! So much! We don't know what to do with it all. Oh, what do we do know what to do with it? Do many things. Many, many things. Unspeakable. Okay, I've reached the point where I have physically run out of towel. So I need to go get another towel from upstairs. Sorry for being off camera so much, guys, but I'll be right back. Lift heavy weights, count macros, and some even take a little testosterone. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. I'll be right back, though. Okay. Sorry about that. Right. 
playing the doctor bill, eruption overcharge, pain res, dead man bill, chlorophobia, I hate chlorophobia, distressing, unnerving presence, and consciousness, all of us. Um, doctor. Like, chlorophobia with doctor would be, I don't know, it depends on what you want to go for. Like, I feel like build two would be vicious. Um, build two could be very vicious. You want to like f them up really good? I think the build number two would be like the most irritating. That very second. Okay, pretty soon, pretty soon. You have to step away. Sorry, I missed your answer. The groundhog is an eldritch being. Should it see the shadow it casts upon the earth, it will plunge us into a longer, deeper. shopping and they do the, uh, the cleaning process. Is that a fair trade-off? I don't think it is at all. So with kale, I actually always strip the leaves off. We don't like stems, we just want the, the leafy part. I always strip them. Make the kale your stripper. You love kale? I actually don't like kale. I bought kale because I hadn't had it in so long. And I I want to get like a little bit of extra greens in my diet this week. I might even like juice this or blend it or something really irritating like that. But I've just been eating so ugh, different. My body feels it. I just need, need like a cleanse. Need to like uh, rebalance my chakras and uh, build a bigger, juicier ass. You know, like all that really wholesome stuff. That is a date. I'll wash whatever you need. Cool. You know. Not your feet, though. I guess. Oh god, no. If anyone touches my feet, did I get the fuck? You're getting kicked in the face. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I couldn't handle someone washing my feet. I don't think I could handle even like a foot massage. Too ticklish. I am pretty ticklish in general. I can't handle people touching my knees, which is kind of a weird one. If you touch, put your hand on like my kneecaps, I'll probably, I'll, I'll try to be calm, but like, I might like flail around. Really weird. I'm over this. I'm so over this. <laughs> yeah, I have like, uh, I don't even know if have four things left. Four things left. See how it goes. Hey, this is a lot of kale. This is a lot. What do you guys think about this process? Anybody who buys kale, are you going to start doing it this way? Or not so much? You like your kale stuff? You guys think of kale chips. I think they suck. Personally. And I think when you cook them, you like burn all the nutrients out of them. Such a waste. 
They suck! Okay, good. You're good. I'm glad somebody agrees. Agrees with me. But they do in fact suck. They don't belong. They shouldn't even be called chips. They should be, just be called baked kale. Burnt kale. Chicken skin chips? Where is that? Chicharron? Isn't chicharron, um, pig skin? It's kind of like the same thing, yeah? You haven't tried it before? Well, lucky you, Leo, because they're, they're not that good. If you like adding kale to your egg scramble, and also to pho, that could be good. You know what I love in pho is um, the Thai basil that they put in there. Uh, they're just a kind of basil. And they'll usually give you like basil leaves and some cilantro leaves. Oh my god. I, I fill up, I love fresh herbs. So like I fill up the, the pho bowl with like, I'll put the sriracha in there. And uh, I usually put a lot of the herbs in there. What else do they kind of give you for top? Oh, squeeze of lime juice. I like to put the lime juice in there too. Very good stuff. Very, very good. Okay, time to wash. That's fried pig skin, not quite the same. Love pig skin, kale on pho. Um, yeah, sometimes you'll get like a little side of kale. And maybe it's more of a thing in the US, but they do it. Um, but I'm more used to like the cilantro and the basil. Bad boy. Oh yeah. I need to crash, you guys. I need some energy. I need more of those grapes back there looking at me, taunting me. Big juicy grapes. I bet you like chitterlings, you know. What are chitterlings? Not here. Chitterlings. That. Well, they're kind of skin. Is that a skin of something? Chitlins is fried pig intestines. Why do we eat those? Who was like, hey, the part of this, you know, remember that part of the pig, you know, the part where all the food passes through? Extra flavor in there, so let's let's take that out of the pig and eat it. No, I don't know. Actually, I, I know, I've heard organ meat is really good for you. Liver. So yeah, I don't know. I'd probably try it. I'd try it once. I'd even try menudo. You know what menudo is? Rich people play. Rich people used to eat garbage parts like the goose's liver and the fish's eggs. Wasn't what else was um did rich people eat, but now is like 
not rich people food anymore, wasn't, um, or no, vice versa, like, wh weren't, like, lobsters and crabs, like, considered, like, poor people food or something like that, or, or caviar, maybe? I I'm trying to think, like, what, what's an example of that, but I, I can't remember right now. I mean, yeah, that's what uh, shrimp and lobster and crab and stuff are, right? They're so good. I love me a good crustacean. fishermen until Russian Tsars developed the taste. Interesting. The more you know. Right, I'm gonna do the lettuce, the chula, and the hus. And all we, I usually will cut these in half. Especially when the leaves are really big. So when they're smaller, I won't cut them in half. When they're big and juicy like this, we can cut them in half. Actually, there's a bit of dirt in this bowl. I gotta rinse it out. Okay. What's going on? The Twitch is frozen. Can you still hear my audio though? Am I frozen, but my audio is still going? Or is it completely frozen, real? What's going on there? Phantom, what do you got going on today? What's up, my man? This water is so warm. Ah, shit. It won't get cold. I'm doing good, Phantom. I'm doing really good. Finally, uh, finally went grocery shopping. Missed most of it. I'm gonna take a, a nice little picture of everything that's back on the table there, but we got grapes, plums, peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, parsley, another kind of parsley, kale, lettuce, green onions, dill, mint, aloe vera, um, and all this stuff. So I'm, just, I'm really happy I got groceries. You gotta go sleep, have a good day. You too, Leo, thank you for staying up and hanging out with us. Get some good sleep, okay? Um, just doing errands, I had to wake up extra early. And this is kind of early for you, isn't it, Phantom? I actually don't even think I've ever spoken to you this early 
before. <laughs> but I hope you hope your errands are going well. Hope you're getting some uh, being productive and whatnot. I was just loading maybe something with your internet. Hey, I love you too, Leo. Take it easy. Get some good sleep, okay? Sleep's important. Hello, Flea. How's it going today? How are you? Tell me something good. Tell me something bad. Oh no, actually, just tell me something good. Don't tell me something bad. Oh, you guys know each other. Wonderful. I love to see it. Love, love, love to see it. Can I do this all in one batch? I really don't want to have to do two batches. I leave to go get breakfast and I come back to a gifted sub. Yes, yes, yes. Abby, primo, had gifted your sub earlier. So now you have access to my very, very average handmade emotes. So I hope you enjoy them. We're on vacation for a week for work this week. Yes, let's go. Little staycation, or are you going somewhere to sleep? You got some plans, or like, do you just want to like chill and lay low? What do you think? Also, again, guys, I know this is very annoying. I apologize again for it, but it's, it's a necessary thing. True, it's 9 a.m. here. You're half away. You have to go grocery shopping too. Oh my gosh. I should have just brought you with me, Phantom. What kind of groceries are you gonna get today? You're gonna go buy some papayas? Get me a papaya, please. I'll take one. Yeah, the grocery store, um, I, I also, I went during rush hour, which sucked. There wasn't any traffic on the way back though, which was nice. But the grocery store I go to is like a 20, 25 minute drive. But because it was rush hour, it was like 30, 35 minutes. But the grocery store, it's so worth it getting all this stuff. You did it for Bond, though. He did. Abby was trying to make me feel better. How about Switch is my boyfriend? <laughs> you really get around, huh, Leo? Not an exclusive kind of guy, I see. Okay, I got a bit of water. I think that's good. Ish. Should I give it one more spin? Let's do one more little spin, see if we can get this even drier. Weird. Me making things dry, I'm usually making things wet. Staycation, death, wonderful. Gonna visit family for a couple days. We have birthday. Oh, that's really sweet. I think. I all, honestly, sometimes I prefer staycation versus like going somewhere. I don't go anywhere all that often, or I never really did, even when I did have vacation, but it's being able to like chill, relax, get some things done around your house, you know, stuff like that is really well worth it. Uh oh, we're really getting bonked again. I mean, we're really bonking people again. All that for one salad for one person? What? No, I'm not gonna. I mean, I'll probably make some salads out of this, but I usually take the bigger leaves, and um, I, I usually will. I put uh, like meat or vegetables in here, and we'll wrap them and eat them. I'll put these on sandwiches. I will make salads out of these. What else do I use lettuce for? If I'm making like a burrito bowl or something, I'll shred lettuce, put it on there. Many uses. You're having day off till Thursday. You can stay up late. Let's go. You're gonna get drunk and play the Nintendo Switch loop. Why does that arm motion look familiar? Well, I'll leave that to your imagination. Talk about dripping down my leg. Oh yeah, we were talking about that Led Zeppelin song earlier. The juice. Yeah. But this is what happens. 
But if I go to a store like this, I would buy way too much food. Honestly, traveling is almost as bad as working sometimes. It is, oh my God. Going to an airport, getting on a plane, or having to road trip somewhere is a lot of work. I need like two vacations. One for actually going somewhere, and then like a second one for decompressing after coming home, you know? Last time I planned a vacation from work. I planned it so that when I got home, I still had like one, about one and a half days left of my vacation just to do decompress, you know? Which I think is so important. Some people, they tell me they go on vacation and they're like, yeah, I'm flying home this day and I have work the next day. And I'm like, how the hell do you do that? That sounds awful. You didn't pick me up, but yes, you You gotta get your papayas. You're trying to keep healthy diets, so lots of salads and chicken, very wonderful. Uh, me too, Phantom. I just, the last two weeks, I've like kind of been off my diet. I was doing a whole promotion thing with HelloFresh. And even though the meals were pretty good and generally pretty healthy, I'm just, I wanna get back. Like I wanna not eat so much gluten, even though I definitely bought some bread. I don't wanna eat, I don't usually eat dairy, so like, no cheese and no sour like there was a lot of like cheese and sour cream and there's this one recipe that had ranch dressing in it i love all of those things but i just want to like feel like feel like uh my normal self oh uh, let's see here we use it to wrap chitterlings okay what do we use for that use? i forgot what we were talking about wheel um Get one of those vacuum seal containers, they make salad last like four days longer. So you know what I do, Jiga? I, I have those Ziploc bags and I, I get I get the produce into the bag and I'll like smash it down with my stomach onto the counter to get all the air out and then I'll like zip the, or like close it shut and it looks vacuum sealed because my stomach destroys all of the air. Wait, not chillings, just pour. Oh, the lettuce, 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 gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, when you do like the lettuce wraps and stuff. You need a travel day on both sides of vacation, absolutely. All right, guys. I'm gonna do my favorite thing. Next is mint. Always, always, always have fresh mint. My favorite. Now this stuff, I will make a tea, I, I'll make, uh, I put this in my tabbouleh, I'll put this in salad. I even eat the mint leaves a lot, just plain. Um, put them on sandwiches. If you know what lovni is, it's like our version of cream cheese, a uh, Middle Eastern cream cheese. You make a lovni sandwich with cucumber and mint and a drizzle of olive oil, some fresh olives on there, it's so, so good. I want a sandwich now. I kind of wish I bought some Lovni, but again, trying not to have dairy. But oh well. Come on. Come on. Get these rubber bands. These are really tiny. Usually they're like very large bundles. I'm kind of surprised they're this small. Water on these are almost done. Two more things. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting tired of this. <laughs> I don't wanna do this anymore. I'm gonna speed run. I'm gonna speed run this whole process pretty soon. I'm not even gonna talk to you guys. I'm just gonna get get through this. Green onion. of these are really dirty. Really, really dirty.
You have to freshen it. Again, I absolutely love. Doing great, honestly, you're killing it. Thank you so much. Gotta go. It was nice catching up seeing you. Bye, Phantom. Have a good rest of your day. It was good to see you too. Take it easy. Careful driving. I've been watching The Chosen on Netflix, and it's so good. It's a series about the life of Jesus. So good. Very interesting. What was it? Kind of interesting. I've been reading a little bit more about like religion and history. I find it interesting. I like that. I mean, I, I'll be honest, I look up things because I like to refute certain, certain ideas or certain kinds of knowledge, but I do find it fascinating. I just find history fascinating in general. I always look at things from a historical perspective. Man is gonna appreciate those cooking skills one day. I know, I know, I know. I hope so. I mean, I gotta get a man first, you know? <laughs> we'll see. Will Bonzo ever find a husband? Find out on the next. Dragon Ball Z. Only the people who watch Dragon Ball will get it, I'm sorry. Okay. Finish off this mint. Your favorite book of the Bible is the Book of Enoch, if we're talking religious controversy. Um, I forget what that one was about. I really like Genesis because it, it kind of talks about like the formation of like the earth and the like, ocean and, and just life. I think it's very fascinating. Saving souls is very important. I'm trying to be that man. Is this the line? Um, there is no line. The store is closed. We are unavailable at the moment. What if I had, what if I had, uh, if I had a boyfriend and I just didn't tell you guys? Would you be mad? That book isn't in the vibe. Freshman. You guys are welcome to discuss it as long as it's, you know, we're we're just kind of like learning and being open to other ideas or new knowledge as long as it's constructive and it doesn't get hostile. But I think information, it's all information, it's history, it's, it's, some of it's really fascinating. What's up, Christopher? Welcome. Thank you for the follow. How you doing today? Welcome to the water track. Okay. Got our 
green onions here, which honestly don't look all that fresh, but take what we can get at this point. Okay, let's see here. It most certainly is, but this, uh, okay, look at that. You can't really tell. I'll just catch fire. Okay, we can talk about something else then. Anyways, Bonzo, can we discuss sometime soon how much for you to narrate my life? <laughs> Do you want me to narrate your life? You woke up, you stretched. Not just a regular stretch, a big stretch. A stretch of a woman who's seen things. Got up, dragged her feet to the bathroom, looked in the mirror, realized she is a bad bitch. Before you knew it, her simp was bringing her a cup of coffee and greeting her. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going with this. So sorry. Hey, Keenan. What's up, Keenan? How you doing, Keenan? Love you, Keenan. Thanks. You came up on my recommended. You're part Lebanese. You haven't had much exposure to Lebanese food. Okay. Ahlan, ahlan, ya habibi. Welcome. Um, how, how much? Uh, how much Lebanese are you? Fifty percent, twenty-five percent, five percent, ten percent. What are we? What are we working with here? You do stretch more in the morning, so it elevates your mood. Yeah, you should. I mean, two things I try to do in the morning. One is stretch, two is drink water. I'm pretty good at like, you know, always hydrating in the morning, but I don't always stretch. I need to get better at that. And I also need to get better at stretching post uh, workouts. So definitely lack in that. Um, what's in that jar? Pickles? Uh, this one here? Yes, these are actually Lebanese pickles. Or Arabic, Arabic pickles. Not everything is Lebanese. Arabic pickles. Um, they're good. I usually I usually don't buy these because they're super super salty. But I found this brand and they're not just like over salted. So I started buying them. They're pretty good. Although we should do some voice work together. Let's dub an anime sometime. That would be a lot of fun, Abby. You know how are you today, my man? You are 0.01% Lebanese. What am I having a little... Um, <laughs> fucking love hydration. 25% Grandpa Jiddu on your dad's side is full. That is so cool. I love that. Yeah, I'm uh... Okay, so like... I'm, I'm actually only half Lebanese. But... I'm also half Syrian. Countries are right next to each other. I really only claim my Lebanese heritage most of the time, but I'll be honest with y'all. Half Lebanese, half Syrian, but same difference, pretty much. Uh, I was born in the US. I speak a little bit of Arabic, a little bit of Spanish, a little bit of Portuguese, a little bit of Italian, a little bit of Japanese, a little bit of French. All that good stuff. That face, oh my god. <laughs> I've told you that, Poison. I swear I've told you that. It's my deepest, darkest secret. What's up, Tavis? How you doing today? That's what you wanted me to call you last night, right? Shut up, Tavis. Get out of here. Largate. This is a cooking stream, guys. Behave. Well, that is wonderful, Chris. So, I pretty much went to the Lebanese grocery store today, or Arab Middle Eastern grocery store, and, uh... Fucking love hydration. Another beautiful clip, thank you. Um, and, you know, uh, you, you, you missed most of it, but I got all of my produce back there. We got parsley, we got mint, tomatoes, cucumbers, we're gonna be making some tabbouleh. I've got uh, some hummus, or... or chickpeas cooking in my pressure cooker back there. I'm gonna make some hummus today um, and I might make I don't know what that noise was 
after I'm finished cleaning all the produce, I might make a sandwich, like a Middle Eastern style stand sandwich. We'll see, we'll see what we get into today. Okay, we spent way too much time on these green onions. Let's move on. I must have been a lit, shake my head. You know, I cannot remember anything. That's <laughs> okay, Poison. I think you were lit. Maybe it was my fault for telling you that while you were lit. <laughs> The Resident Evil skins are <laughs> C1T for Ada and Chill. I don't even have with DVD and Resident Evil like that. Wait, new skins for Ada and Jill? I didn't know about this. How did I not know about this? When did they come out? Did they come out today? Hey, hola, me alianza. Bienvenidos, chico. Como estas? How are you today? You know what? To me, this is a medium-sized pickle jar. I, some, I might sometimes uh, be like those really, really big ones. You know what I'm talking about? Love those. I love pickles. Unironically. Um, your grandparents were immigrants. Using the milk My um, on my mom's side, my my jiddu served in the military here. Actually, my grandpa. Um, now my dad's side. A lot of like my, my dad's brothers served in the military. Young men serving in the military was like very, I think a lot more common back in the day. Um, Chris, do you speak any Arabic? Does, uh, does your parents or your dad speak Arabic? Did you grow up eating the food? New skins came out today. Oh my gosh. Can somebody uh, look up the new Dead by Daylight Resident Evil skins and post them in my Discord? I would greatly appreciate it. I'd love to see them. Okay. Your dad did too. Is in the military, that is. Very cool. You love a good salad spinners, ours broke. Yeah, no, I, I use this thing on almost a weekly basis. It's how I clean all of my produce. I think after I finish, I'm gonna maybe point my camera back at the table. You can see everything I've done today after I do a little bit of cleaning first because the table also has a bunch of crap on it, so we'll see. Um, let me put these on and start the dill. I'll in chat again in just a second. Just a second here. We're not far away. Stay tuned. Do not go far. Why are these so slippery? What the hell? Never. Oh, oh. Nothing's falling. Nothing nothing really wants to work for me today. Under this visualization. Okay. Finish. Let's finish. Finish. Okay. The bigger the pickles, the better. Yes. Absolutely. Look at Are we on a baby? It'll go. You get a new one. Definitely get a new one, Melganza. It's really great for cleaning produce. Like, like parsley, mint, cilantro, lettuce, kale, spinach. Uh, who taught you to cook? Are you self-taught? I spent a lot of time with my situ or my grandma. Um, not really helping because like me trying to help my grandma, she'd be like, no, just go sit down, like just, just eat. But I would, I would watch a lot and learn. I would later on be like, okay, I really need want to learn how to make grape leaves. Let's roll some together. Um, and then same thing with my mom. Uh, just spending a lot of time with my mom in the kitchen, asking her how to make certain things and then as I grew up, I had um, an interest in like health, uh, so I wanted to eat better. I was always, I was actually very, very heavy um, back in like my late teens, early 20s. So learning about food, uh, eating more of my culture's food as well as some other culture's food and just learning to eat more fresh produce really helped with that. So a combination of all of those things. Thank you for the lurk, Melganza. They're listed in the tweet though. Why can't I find them? My exposure to Lebanese food is very limited. My grandma on my dad's side mostly made Italian food. Cabbage rolls, wonderful. I mean, Italian food is freaking delicious. 
um, on occasion, or I've done uh, pizza on stream, I've done homemade sauce, salsa di pomodori, um, I like Italian food a lot. And the cabbage rolls, oh my gosh, I've made cabbage rolls, Lebanese cabbage rolls on stream too, mashi marfouf, like stuffed cabbages, are so, so good. Found it posting on Discord now, thank you so much, Abby, I appreciate it. Last thing, guys, last thing. Then, uh, I don't know really what we're gonna do after. I didn't plan ahead. I, want, I just wanna clean up the counter at this point. I don't like it's messy. Garbage. Shall put this off over here. Call you Brayden. How's it going? Welcome. We're getting hooked on you cosmetics. Very cool. Beach cosmetics for Huntress and Spirit. Next up, Trapper. Very cool. They already put out the Dwight and Claudette. Claudette. Let's have a look at that. I need to stream. I haven't streamed Dead by Daylight in so long, it seems like. What's the difference between Jesus and a picture of Jesus? Only takes one nail to hang the picture. Okay, a crucifixion joke, I guess. Possible band evader monitoring. Interesting. Okay. We were talking about religious stuff like not that long ago, so I don't know if that's related to that. Yes, yeah, Swift with us Thursday. Possibly. Okay, so we got our dill here. Again, anyone knows how to say dill in Arabic? Help me. I don't remember. Actually, I don't even think I ever knew. Where's Raj? Get Raj. style tzatziki sauce. Now in my culture we make something called laban uh, which is like cucumber yogurt but I really like the Greek style so I really like putting cucumber and dill in there. Um, sorry, so we usually put mint in ours. Uh, the Greek style is to put dill and I like the dill so we're gonna do that. Oh you play DVD also? Wonderful. Love to see that. You know, that's funny. Chris, I think you're the second or third person that was like, I don't really watch cooking streams that much, but I play Dead by Daylight. I don't know how I ended up here. And I said something about Dead by Daylight. They're like, oh, you play Dead by Daylight. We love, uh, we love an effective algorithm, don't we? All right, where the hell am I gonna put this? I, I literally don't know. Make space back here. I think we can make space back here. I 
think a second camera, that's what I have to do. Get a second camera pointing at my TV. Okay, we're done. We're done! Finally! Wipe down this counter a little bit. We're gonna strain those chickpeas. So many like little pieces of uh, parsley and mint and dill and such. Right on the counter. Don't need this coffee cup anymore. Greek tzatziki is top tier. Yes, it is. But, okay, leave that there. And, uh, Let me show you guys what the table looks like. Give me just a second. Really making you guys wait a bit. See how well I can do this. You guys see me here? Show you everything we've done today. That's everything. Um, okay. Can't see chat. I'm gonna stand over there. Let me see if I can turn this. You know what? I'm just gonna have to read chat off my phone. It's not gonna work. here which are called mishmish in Arabic mishmish and then we have anab which means grape and akhtar which is green grape akhtar is green and then we have anab hamra like red grape anab hamra then we did some tomatoes bakdunis like uh, banadura banadura is tomato banadura Got a bunch of different peppers here. Lately, peppers. Lately, then we got the khiar or khiara, cucumbers. Got the now this is bakdunis. I did both of these. This is curled parsley, and we got some flat parsley here. We're gonna make some tabbouleh out of this, and probably some tea out of the flat one. It's just aloe vera. 
Um, here. We got the dill. I don't remember how to say dill in Arabic. I also don't know how to say kale in Arabic either. But we have lettuce, pus. We have my favorite, the mint leaves, which is nana. Nana. Not put in there. Then in front, more in front there, I think you can't barely see them, but we have green onions. Awesome. Awesome. We also got this little tray of almond. I'm going to call lemon, almond, or lemon. And Portugal, orange. Okay, that's it. Let's fix the camera now. I'm gonna get a second camera for this, guys. I think it'd be cool if you guys could like see the table slowly fill up with food. Thank you for the rupees. Chris, thank you for thank you so much for the hundred bitties. I appreciate it. I'm sorry, you guys just like get like really up close and personal with my face. Thank you. How are we looking? Are we crooked? Crooked. Does this look no, 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 it's not crooked. This is, this is what we were working with before, right? Same thing, same difference. We look good. Glad I found your stream, loving the vibes. Thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate it. Ah, then, welcome, welcome. Might just need a second camera. I know, Abby. I, I really should, especially for doing cooking content. I have my other my other cameras upstairs, actually, for my, my gaming setup. I just, uh, so lazy, you know? I like to keep one down here, one upstairs, and not move things around too much. Okay. Got some nuts here. I guess what do I want to do next? Let me uh, strain these chickpeas, I guess. pressure cook these these chickpeas right the best way to do chickpeas they came like I said they came out of a bag like this soak them overnight cook them either on the stovetop it takes a lot longer on the stovetop if you have a pressure cooker use the pressure cooker it takes like 20 40 minutes it's not bad at all so we did that and uh, dripping a lot Drain these, and then actually the same thing with the chickpeas, you guys. I'm gonna put out another towel on my table, and you want to just, you really, it's not really about drying these out, but just cooling them down before you store them. They're soft. You get so many, so many out of this. Like this bag, turned into all of this after soaking and cooking them. Sorry, then a third camera. Yeah, I need a third and a fourth camera. I want to get one, I think an overhead one, so you guys can see me when I'm like cutting stuff up, and then one for my stove, like dirty ass stove. I probably need to clean more often. And slurp, slurp on down this far. Sahten, Abby. Buen provecho, chico. I hope it's good. 
Not gonna lie, you love your pressure cooker. It's so useful, Maddie. It's so useful. I mostly use it for cooking beans, but and oh, I make really good bone broth from my pressure cooker, like cooking whole chickens. I do that all the time. Um, I like getting the broth because there's this one Lebanese dish or Arabic dish called menuchia. Hard to say, it's hard to pronounce. Menuchia is a uh, really good and unique chicken stock for that. I love using my pressure cooker to make chicken stock as well. You need one for your kitchen set up and need one for art streams. You want to paint again. That would be really lovely, Abby. Definitely should do those. Um, okay, so... Actually, I ran out of... Do I have one more towel? I do. I have one more towel left. Let me go spread these out and then we'll... Uh, Figure out what else we're gonna do. So again, the reason I spread these out on a towel, more surface area, is just to get them to cool down really good. doing a roast chicken in your pressure cooker slides right off the bone not the main thing so um yeah I'll usually I'll put a whole chicken in um, carrot celery garlic ginger onion um, sometimes I put some cloves in there now pressure cook it for like an hour hour and a half and the, the, <laughs> the bird looks like it's been massacred in there because like the bones, the bones are falling off the bones. Like they, they literally, they're so brittle after cooking that long. They, they fall right apart. But it makes for a really good broth. The hard part is just separating the, the chicken meat from the bones at that point because like the bird's not together anymore. It just completely falls apart. Um, okay, so we're gonna wait for those chickpeas to cool down a little bit. And then I can make some hummus, and I can make a sandwich, and I think that'll wrap things up. You know what? Maybe we don't make hummus. Maybe we do something now. Make it like a like very simple kind, like very traditional kind. Mortar and pestle. Hey, what's going on, Coda? How are you today? Coda, we were just doing, you just missed it. I showed off all of the produce that I just cleaned. We got a bunch of fruits and vegetables today. And we washed, we washed and dried everything. Now it's time to make something to eat. Hungry. I'll show you guys, uh, actually how I store my bread. So usually when I, when I go to buy this bread from the store, I'll get like 10 bags of meat. Um, if I had more space in my freezer, um, I probably would have bought more, but I don't. And I actually, I separate these and I freeze them. So I'll show you how I do that. And one, two, and three Ziploc bags. Uh, actually, how about this? I want you guys to vote for me. Actually, when I make my when I make the sandwich, do I use the sage bread 
or do I use the uh, standard Arabic bread? So you can pretty much say, should I use the um, the flat bread or the pita bread? Flat bread or pita bread? You just woke up. Well, good morning, Kona. Welcome you have to the coffee morning again. tribe. When can I have you in my kitchen? Uh, pretty soon. Very soon, man. I better yeah, you come to mine. I'll have you in mine. Ron, thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing today? Welcome. You want to do the pita bread? Okay. Pita bread it is. You're going to see how I squeeze all the air out of this. Kind of funny. I remember I was doing this uh, once in front of somebody and they're like, what the hell are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm just storing the bread. I promise it makes sense. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five pieces here. I usually separate these in five pieces because there's ten. There's ten whole pieces in here. I usually can't eat them quick enough before they spoil. This bread goes bad pretty fast because there's like, it's very, very few ingredients. So literally, literally I just smash it with my stomach. parsley on there and it's like like vacuum sealed by my stomach That's, when it's in this bag I just squeeze it fresh and early, get some really, really fresh bread, then when you freeze it and defrost it, it comes out like it was just baked, really, which is really nice if you like fresh bread. Is it a day if I come over to your kitchen and light some candles? It can get real romantic. Light some candles, pour hot wax on you, all that stuff. Just kidding, I just kidding. And I'll put the sauce bread. Actually, I do love this stuff. Very interesting bread, actually. I get, you guys will get to see this stuff. Bonzo with the personal chef Riz. I think he's a player. Check this out. This is the Saj bread. And it is a very, very big. Very, very big bread. Isn't that huge? It's almost got a smiley face on it. Do you guys see the holes? See the eyes? <laughs> it's cool. So the way I make these sandwiches is usually I fold them in half, fill it with a bunch of stuff, and then I wrap it up. And it comes out really, really good. Well, I like to freeze this one too. I like having this on hand all the time. And bread. Bread just defrosts super fast, you guys. So I know things like, oh, you gotta freeze it, wait for it to defrost. No, you don't. It, it literally defrosts in seconds. And I'm separating these so I can pull them out like one piece at a time. That's why I'm separating these right now. Folding them. Like folding a tunnel. I know this might all seem a little strange and like over the top, but I promise. It's the best way to just always have food on hand. And in general, pretty healthy food. Like even this bread here is made from just a few ingredients. So it's the kind of bread that you can eat and not feel like crap afterwards.
Moist moisturize me? <laughs> Pardon? Wait, did I miss something? <laughs> your mom. Your mom always freezes bread. Yeah, it's it's pretty convenient. I'm actually gonna have to kind of squeeze this. Bread is really big. I'm trying to remember how I did this. I did this only one other time. I'm just gonna have to put it like this. Get a little tight in there. But it's better to use these Ziploc bags because too much air can get inside these bags. This bread is a lot bigger than the first one I bought. Ah, this might not work. You know what? I think we are just gonna put it in here. Put it back. It's a Doctor Who reference. Have you got it? Oh. I don't know that. I don't know that stuff, okay? I'm just a bonzer. Crying out loud. Does this... this have a tie? Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Getting out all the air, don't mind me. Perfect. Almost. Okay. Keep out. Got one of these. Put this back, I don't think I need to store anything else. Where's it gonna go in the freezer? On the bottom of the freezer. This is the Saj bread, the other Saj bread. This is the other pita bread. I keep frozen. I'm gonna put these ones on the bottom. Um, let's put some of this stuff away. I want to clear up the counter a little bit, guys. I'll keep these out. I think I'm going to use those. Some vulgar. Some bullshit. Got the... Arabic coffee. I'll put these things away later. Some garlic. These walnuts. We're gonna try some of these. I wanna see how these are. We might use some of these pickles. Okay, I'm leave that stuff out. Now let's uh actually make something get Thank you, son. You got it. 
Bonzo, you're so extra, I love it. Bonzo's not a true nerd like the rest of us. I have some nerdy quality. Bitchy trampoline equals body goals. What? <laughs> The pho is the best idea you've had in weeks. Isn't that good? I want some pho. Okay. Hummus. I need hummus. Wish I had a little, like, uh. mortar. Pestle. Come on. Let's just, uh. Should I just make a batch? I mean, I got all the stuff right here. It's just that these chickpeas aren't that cool yet. You know what I think I'm gonna do? We'll make a small batch. Very small batch hummus. I don't want to make a big batch because those are still uh, cooling off a little bit. So I'll make a small batch, just enough for the use of this one sandwich. Sandwich. Okay, ready. What I come over here for? Deep garlic. Okay, we got our garlics. My garlic, sir. We put two cloves, whereas most normal people would only put one. We're not normal. We're the, we're the exact opposite of normal. Who would ever want to be normal? Normal is boring. Do something different. Be different. Use two cloves of garlic. Sounds so good. I want some pho. Okay, so we got the garlic in there. I'm gonna top it off with a scoop of chickpeas. I'm gonna grab some with this cup. Yeah, we cooked these. We made these. We we did this. Not from a can. Let's just amount of chickpeas in there. Uh, we're gonna need some lemon juice. One of the juiciest one here. overrated. Agatha Cromwell, sir. Did you see me lick that lemon coda? <laughs> you seen it? You don't seen it all? Seen things. Seen things you could have possibly Not, you know. 
always. Okay, we got the chickpeas, the garlic, the lemon. We need uh, salt. That should be enough. Maybe. We'll see. And now, Pini. Pini, best before June 2023. Okay, we used it just in time. use the rest of it. This is better than peanut butter. And now we blend. I'm gonna mute the microphone. Okay, so I'm gonna add more lemon juice to this to get some more liquid in there, and I do have to add some water in here. You always do have to add like a little bit of water to the hummus to help make it into like an actual. I'm gonna use more lemon juice to help thin it out because I want to use the I do want to use the rest of this lemon anyways. And then a splash of water. I said, yo, what's up, Steps? How you doing? You love hummus? Me too. Okay, close enough. Anyways, I was saying I like tahini uh, almost as much as I like peanut butter. Really good. Okay, so it tastes really good. It actually tastes really, really good. I just want to blend it a little bit more. Fresh, smooth, creamy hummus. Um. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> uh, you know, I, and I got both today, Koda. I'm so I'm so fortunate because uh, I get to make this hummus today. And when I went, when before I left the Arabic store, there's a Yemeni coffee house right down the road. And I made, I had Yemeni coffee. I got this coffee with ginger, cardamom, and cinnamon, and it was so good. So I'm getting, I'm getting all of it today, and I'm, I'm so happy. Garbage is over here. Who remembers that bold faced lie I told earlier when I said I was gonna use lettuce, like do like lettuce wraps, and now I'm just using the bread instead? I don't remember that. Hopefully, you don't remember that. Don't remember. Welcome to the Water Tribe. Hey, what's up, Allison? How you doing today? Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you are well. Okay. Don't need these anymore. Now we can start making the sandwich. Sandwich. In sand. It's your co-worker, you were telling her about me. That's so sweet, Chris. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's very, very sweet. Do this. Oh, we can do this one of two ways. We can open the bread. We can leave it as is. I think I'll open it. To give you guys the full effect. You're already in love with looking at your kitchen. Thank you so much. Very sweet of you to say. And welcome. The Gospel of Bonto spreads further. Yes, the lore continues. Um, okay, so we got the hummus. We're gonna put that on the bread first, but let me get some of these vegetables I want to put on here. Get them. I need a tomato, for sure. Cucumber, for sure. Pass or lettuce. Green onions. Um, mint, absolutely. Hello, I feel like I'm grocery shopping in my own, my own house right now. Parsley. Okay. We got everything. I'm gonna do the parsley. I'm gonna do mint. Do sliced green onion. You know, a very simple sandwich. It's such a, like a Lebanese ethnic thing. My mom told me she grew up eating like green onion sandwiches. Just a little bit of um, olive oil, green onions, and I think some za'atar. So simple, you know? Green onion, lettuce, cucumber, tomato. And... I'm forgetting. Oh, olives. We're gonna put olives on here too. Now if I had it, guys, the only way to make this 10 times better would be to put some... Uh, some lovin, but love me on here, which I love. Again, that's like our yogurt, cream cheese, whatever. I, I could have made some, but I'm too lazy. I'm really hungry. I want to get this over with. So let's let's I, not over with, but I want to get this sandwich in my stomach. You're kind of working and lurking. I love that, Chris. Work and lurk. That, that's actually really funny. Streaming at this time. You know, hang on. I gotta check YouTube. I think this music is about to run out. Run out. Oh no, no, it's 11 hours. Never mind. Sometimes the music tracks I put on are only like three hours. Anyways, um, whenever I go live around 10 a.m., 11 a.m., most of my uh, my viewers here are working and lurking, which I absolutely love. So, really sweet. If you had a huge kitchen, you'll take. If you have a huge kitchen, you'll take the kitchen with you. <laughs> I don't blame you. I mean, this this for me would be the most important thing in my house. I know it is for a lot of people. The kitchen is super important, but. 
I cook a lot. I spend a lot of time in here. You know, since I got my PC, which I got last month, for those of you that don't know that, I was always taking, you guys saw my laptop earlier, my laptop, my camera, my microphone, it always went back upstairs and came right back down with me every time I was doing streams for gaming or for cooking. Now that I got my PC, my laptop and my camera stay in here all the time. The only thing that I have to transfer is my microphone. So like, I have my, my I'm in my kitchen so much, when I hang out on Discord with people, I'm just in my kitchen a lot of the times and I love it because I'll be like making food, prepping food, making tea, or, and then the other half of the time I'll be up in my PC. It's quite nice. Or I, and otherwise, I, I love my kitchen. Kitchen is very important. Kitchen is the heart of my house for sure. Same with me. The heart of my house is the kitchen. The soul of my house is my basement. Hi Athena, how are you? Hope you're doing well, welcome. Um, okay guys, let's, uh, let's start assembling this sandwich. I think I'm gonna actually put some za'atar on here. Let's get some. So za'atar is kind of like a thyme mixture, think like the herb thyme that we use. Um, we usually make these things called like, like um, we just call them za'atar, but really it's like a piece of dough with the seasoning and oil put over it and you bake it. You have a little little piece of, uh, how would you call it? A little zata pie, or like a little zata pizza, something like that. And it's so good, it is so, so good. So I'm gonna put some of that on here. I have some pre-mixed already. And usually you kind of get the zata out, you mix it with oil, but I just have some already mixed with oil all the time because I love using it. The laundry room? <laughs> The laundry room is the soul. Number one cooking stream. Thank you so much. Okay, let's put some of this delicious paste on here. Again, this is like a bunch of herbs. This might look a little weird, but it tastes so good. It smells so good. This is another very Middle Eastern thing or Lebanese thing. Put a nice big spoon of that on there. Spread it. This is oily and herby. It just tastes so freaking good. Very good. And so I'm gonna use the same spoon. I'm the only one eating this, so it doesn't matter. Less dishes have to do. I put the hummus on there next. Actually, let's take the blade up first. When it comes to making hummus, I try to make mine more of a thicker style. You can definitely add more water or lemon juice to kind of loosen it up, but I like the thick stuff. Tastes good. Okay. Let's just put that right there actually. Rest up. Almost. Actually, I made a little bit more than I think I need for this sandwich. It'll be a big sandwich though. This is a 